Be sure to check out my very own website at kidscoding.com today. Listen! Hey everybody, it's Kids Coding and welcome back to another video. As y'all know, this is a very unfamiliar setup for a lot of y'all viewers, but it's because we're going to be doing something completely different on the channel and I'm starting to do a little bit of some experimenting. So we're going to do a new field of robotics and this is kind of like the hardware of robotics. What I've been doing in my coding videos previously are just pretty much software videos and they're like the code that you can get for the result. So I'm just going to be building a simple circuit that will just turn a specific LED light on and off. Here I have an ultimate starter kit. I will link it in the description below where you can buy it. So let's get started with the circuit. So here I have the Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi is just basically a short, small credit card size microcontroller. Here I have the breadboard. The breadboard is what allows you to attach more information and like you, not information exactly, but like more um, circuit pieces. You can like attach them onto the breadboard because the Raspberry Pi is not big enough for you to put that information in. Which is why I here have the GPIO extension board and here is the extension wire, which will connect it from the breadboard to the Raspberry Pi. So let's get started with building the circuit. So it's pretty easy and simple and we kind of only need four things. First is your LED light. This will turn it on and off. It's, it, it's like the, um, it's just what turns the light on and off. Here is the resistor and it is what will connect the circuit. So here on the breadboard, I just want to quickly overview it. So as you see right here in the middle, the, the electricity and the voltage will flow vertically. But here on the ends, it will flow horizontally. So that's what's different, but we're going to be using the middle now and it will flow in ver vertically in this scenario. So let's get started. So I'm going to make a big jumper wire. So once again, you can get the starter down below, the starter kit. So you, we are gonna connect it to the GPIO 17 because that is what the code, which I will specify later, starts at. And then we're going to end it wherever we want. I'm just going to end it right about And then after that, we will then need a resistor. Um, I believe the resistor needs to be 200 ohms. And as okay. So as you see here, we have the resistor. So we will then need to connect it to the circuit on the same line we ended our jumper wire. So I think right about here would be a good idea. And I believe we can end it right about there. And we have connected our resistor successfully. Now we need to connect our LED light. Our LED lights are right here. So as you see, there is one small one and then there's one big one, one sticking out a little bit more. The one that's sticking out a little bit more is its positive side and the one that's a little bit short is its negative side. So we need to put the positive sign in first. So here I'm just going to put it in right about like that. And then finally to end it, we will need to end it at the ground. So I'm taking a small jumper wire and I'm just going to connect it to the ground. And then we're going to end it where um, the jumper wire was. That seems right about good. Now that we've finished with the circuit, let's switch to the code to see how the LED light will turn on and off. So here we have imported the GPIO and the time. So we're going to import the time it takes for the light to turn on and off as well as the GPIO board that we have set up. So here is the setup and here's how it's going to start out. So we're going to basically like number it and we're going to match the code to wherever and how we set it up. So here it's 11 which is equivalent to GPIO 17 and as you see right here we started at GPIO 17. So that's pretty much what L LED pin is 11, it's just GPIO 17. And then low, GPIO low, it just basically turns it off and it turns off the LED light. Now let's get into the actual code and the actual loop. That was just the setup. So 
here it's the output, so we're going to turn it high. High means is that the LED light will turn on. And then after that, we're going to make it print the LED to turn on. This is Python, so once again, if you want to check out my Python playlist at the top right hand corner, you can do that. And then time sleep. This is when it will turn off, and this is how long we have to wait for it to turn on again. And GPIO low, GPIO low once again, means that it is turned off. And then we're going to print for it to turn off. And then sleep is just how long we have to wait for it to turn on once again. And then we can end the whole code by doing control C. So that is just basically a brief synopsis of the code. So let me open up my Raspberry Pi command prompt and let me type in. So now that we've finished the code, we need to execute the file once again. So um, let's go right here. So our file name was blink.py. That was the name of the file where our code was in. So in order for that to be executed, we need to type in sudo python to let the command prompt know that we are executing in python. And then we need to put the name of the file. This is a lot similar to the command prompt on Windows if you've checked out my python playlist. So this is blink.py. It's case sensitive because there could be another file with blink.py with a lowercase v. So we need to make sure we differentiate our capitals in our lowercases. And then let's press enter. So now that we have finished our code and we have analyzed it, we now need to execute it. So as you see right here, the file was blink.py. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to type in sudo python and then blink.py. Remember that it's case sensitive and needs to be an uppercase B for it to differentiate it. So we need to distinguish our capitals and our lowercase. So I think everything is good, so let's press enter. And as you see, what's gonna happen is that it's going to blink for one second and it's going to go off for one second. Because according to the code that we showed, we said that we were going to make it turn on for one second and then we were going to make it turn off for another second. We can even play around with these numbers and we can change them. So let's say we did something like five. Save it. And then I'm going to use the up arrow. Oh, by the way, Control C will stop it from programming. And then let's press the up arrow. And as you see, what's going to happen is that the LED light is going to stay on for an extra four seconds, and it's going to stay off for an extra four seconds. So now it'll be on for five seconds, and now it'll be off for five seconds. So we can play around with those numbers to whatever numbers we are satisfied with. Satisfied with. So that is pretty much it for Raspberry Pi circuits. I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, I'm experimenting with many different stuff on this channel. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a huge fat like. And also be sure to check out my other playlists. And I'll see you all next time.